Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today for you, I am doing a favourites video. Now I don't do these particularly often, I do them quite infrequently and that is because I want to wait until I've got a product which I have loved, I have tested, I have used to death before I come out and say this is something that I really strongly like love in my life and I cannot live without so yeah let's let's dive right in and I'll show you what I'm going to be talking about today okay so the first product that I have is a lush perfume uh, and this is Emily May um, it is part of their Gorilla perfume collection and came out I think it was last year oh my gosh I love it personally I think it smells like pineapple and cinnamon and it's really quite sweet um, but I always get compliments when I wear it I've only got like the tiniest amount left at the moment so I'm just like hanging on for dear life because it's just beautiful um, it's got a hand blend of essential um, oils in it so it does last a really long time I get um, I can still smell it like the next day um, it's so strong and powerful um, but when you're actually wearing it like it's just so pretty it's such a lovely fragrance i do really recommend trying out lush perfumes if you haven't done already just because i think they are really underrated in the sense that you they're not the sort of thing that you would naturally sort of like be drawn to unless you really liked lush um but their perfumes are um really stand out for me yeah definitely worth having a look at the next product I am really enjoying using um, is this one here. This is a um, moisturiser and it's the Hydroactive Smart Nutrient Day Cream by Figs and Rogue. Now, um, I actually only have sample sizes of these. I haven't been able to get a full size, um, but I used to get my samples off Feel Unique's Pick and Mix service and I am coming to the end of this one, which is a bit scary. Um, I've been using this as my morning moisturiser every day for about two or three months now, and it has made such a difference to how I apply my foundation, or how my foundation applies, should I say. I used to use the LMS Pro Collagen Marine Cream in the morning, but sometimes, not every time, but sometimes I would apply it and I would get like the pilling from my foundation. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try and change things up a bit. And I had this and I tried it and the difference was just phenomenal. It's brilliant, really, really good. And it's a little bit more, I don't know how to describe it, but waxy. Um, has vitamins A, C and E in it um, and hyaluronic acid. Uh, yeah, I really like it. I think it's great definitely a brilliant morning definitely a brilliant morning moisturizer <laughs> the next product is well it's kind of makeup related um, it's a cloth so this is the magnetone London face cloth um, now they usually come in packs of two I got one in my pink parcel I don't think it was last month maybe the month before um, so I've been giving this a really, really good go. I did try the Primark version and it just didn't work. I, I don't really, it didn't do what this one does at all. Like this is amazing. This literally, you wet it, swipe it over your face and it takes your makeup off. Um, perfect for then going in with a really beautiful cleanser um, and not feeling like you're having to use excess amounts of product to take your makeup off. Um, I absolutely love this, I really, really rate it. Um, I definitely will get some more. Um, I can use it maybe two or three times before I have to put it in the wash and they just washes really well. I think you can wash it up to a thousand times um, before it loses its ability to do what it does. And I think they're about seven or eight pounds each roughly if you were to buy them individually. If you can, I don't know, but Gosh, I love this. It has literally changed the way that I um, take my makeup off in the evening. It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Just wet it, take my makeup off, go in my cleanser, toner, jobs are good em. So yeah, really, really good. The next product that I have been loving recently is a lipstick. Now I'm not wearing it today because it doesn't quite go with my makeup that I'm wearing today, but it is from Anastasia Beverly Hills and it is in the shade Toast. It is a liquid lipstick and it's quite like a dark nudie, nudie brown um, 
dries down quite matte but I get so many people asking me what shade it is that I'm wearing in my videos and it is this one. It's absolutely gorgeous, it's a really creamy formula, it lasts such a long time on the lip, um, you know you can eat food and it doesn't come off really, you might get a little bit around the like the inner bit but yeah really really rate this love this color as well so yeah it's definitely made it into my top products for um this video um i i really find it hard to to wear lipsticks because i'm so pale but for some reason this shade just works for me so well the next product i'm uh really loving at the moment is one that i have uh, I got Christmas and I've been kind of putting it off using it until sort of like spring summer time um, and it is a body moisture well body lotion and this is Once Upon a Time by Lush um, and it smells of Granny Smith apples oh my gosh it's so beautiful it's just like a thick green or pale green moisturizer it's really lovely I only had like a small little pot of it so I've just been like using it very sparingly um, and I haven't had to moisturize too much recently because it has been really warm um, and so a little bit does go a long way because you're like hot and stuff so um, yeah I have just been loving this I'm really hoping that it comes out again at Christmas um, it's from the so white um, say so if you've tried the bath bomb so white you'll 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 know the smell but it's just like fresh crisp green apples it's gorgeous the next thing I've been really enjoying and I think this might surprise people um, it is my Juno sponge um, now I did a review on this and said that do you know what I don't know if I would reach for it because I really love my beauty blender uh, but I have I have been reaching for this um, not so much to kind of do around my eye area because I find it quite hard to go in with this particular shape sponge but for the rest of my foundation it just seems to work really really well I had loads of people on my video say they actually preferred the finish that the um, Juno sponge gave than my beauty blender um, so that kind of influenced me a little bit to you know keep on having a go and you know what I am using it a lot it's really strange how the week that I got it I think Nikki Tutorials reviewed it and so did Kathleen Lights. So I was just like blown away because they kind of pretty much said exactly what I said, which I was like, great, at least I'm not completely off my rocker. Um, but I think they've been really enjoying using it as well. So it kind of makes me think that, do you know what, even though some things are cheap, things are definitely worth having a go at and trying them um and seeing if you like them and now kathleen lights has like highlighted to me that there's this weird dot i keep looking at the weird dot so it's very annoying now that there was a weird dot in it but yeah really liking this um liking the fact that i get to try something different okay so the next product that i've been enjoying isn't actually makeup related um uh, but it is drinks related um so these are the um twinings um cold infusion drinks uh, that they've brought out for summer and these this is the watermelon strawberry and mint flavor i literally have got through about five or six of these um and you get like three tea bags in once and then you get like a coupon that gives you 50p off your next lot so that's handy um but yeah they are just really really fun i've been putting them in water bottles water jugs um just you know to have around the house when you get a bit thirsty they are really nice and you feel like you're having like a healthy drink rather than um something that you're not meant to be drinking like a, a fizzy a fizzy drink so yeah they're quite good and um, i've just been really enjoying these over the summer while it's been really really hot the next product um i i've really liked this product recently it's kind of like one of those things where you try something you really enjoy it you put it aside for a while you pick it up again and then you just remember how good it is and it is the jaclyn hill morphe palette now i recently got the vault collection i have done a review on it if you haven't seen that link it above um and i didn't really love the vault collection um which made me then pick this up again and start using it and do you know what hands down 
like these are some of my favorite eyeshadows um to use i absolutely love them especially like these these two shades here just blend so beautifully on the eye um really really love them and this highlighter cannot stop using it this is like my favorite eyeshadow highlighter of all my life um i literally put it in my inner corner and it just it just looks the business it really does um absolutely fantastic great palette absolutely filthy but um yeah really love this um it's just such a shame that i didn't love the vault collection quite as much as i loved this now the other product that or the last product that i have for you today um is just really a representation um and the thing that i have been loving is my degusta box so Degusta is a monthly food subscription. It's like $12.99 every month. I do have the details for it below if you're interested. But there have been some really great food things in it in the past couple of months. I've just been really loving it. And the fact that I get to try some different things, um, I've gone on to like rebuy them. Um, some like, like the cereal, this cereal this month was so good. Um, really enjoyed this. Um, apricots papaya with toasted um spelt and popped quinoa oh it's just gorgeous literally so many things in that box have really turned my head um i really did want to cancel it because i'm just like why am i buying food when i'm already buying food but at the same time i'm like i really enjoy the products that are in it so i think i'm going to be carrying on getting it for quite a while so guys that is everything for me this month um that i have been enjoying let me know if there's any products that you think i should be trying out or any Think that you've tried out that you've really enjoyed I'd love to hear your thoughts don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you all next time take care bye bye